Hi guys, so the next thing I'm going to do in the Megasquare project is to scale the coolant demo center. So I have this spare one, and uh, what I'm going to do is just solder some tag onto it and then be able to test the resistance into the water. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that now. Alrighty, so we've got a coolant demo center. I need to give the terminals a good clean. I'm going to use a scriber and a little screwdriver. Right, now what I'm going to do is give it a spray with some contact cleaner. Cool. Okay, so next I'm just going to bend these tabs over a bit. And then I'm going to solder some cable onto here, so that we've got a permanent connection. I'm just going to clean them a bit more. Okay. All right, there's our wires on our sensor. All right, so what I'm going to do now is fill it up with uh, hot melt glue so they can't come unattached and also to make it waterproof. Feely, feely. There we go, it's all sealed. Cool. So now what we do is strip back the ends. So we're going to attach it to the multimeter. Yeah. Now give it a bit of a taper rooney. Like that, alright. There we go. Now we're ready to give it a test. So what I'm gonna do is use this old lunch box to put some water in. Zip tie around here. Yeah. And I'm going to put this tie wire up through here. Like that. And now, what I'm going to do is sit it over the side here. Let it hang there like that. It should be fine. 
time. Now I just need to get everything ready to do the scaling. So we need our multimeter so we can read the resistance. The resistance. So there we have it there. Let's see what it's reading at the moment. One point five thousand ohms. All right, now go get some water. All right, so we're going to start with some ice. All righty, now let's put some water in. As we're doing that, I'm going to get a temp on my digital thermometer here. Oh, now we're down to 14. So at 14 degrees, we're 2.9K. Doesn't look like we're going to get any lower than 13.1 degrees. Oh, there we go, it's 13 degrees and it's 3.15k. Alright, so now I'm going to add some hot water. See how that changes that situation. Thirty degrees, we're at one point eight. All right, I have to get this water out now and put some hotter water in. All right, so now I'm going to add some boiling water for the top end of the scale. So it looks like we're going to get 92 is the hottest we're going to get. Ninety-two degrees is point three. So now we're about a halfway mark between thirty and ninety. Okay, so what I think I'll do is I'll put it here. And then we're going to watch it as it cools. Okay, so there we've seen it roll back to pretty much 30 degrees again from boiling. Uh, so we've got a fair good scaling range to work off now. So what I'm going to do now is work out some different temperature points, plug it into the Megasquirt and calibrate the sensor. Alright, so let's uh, connect to Tuner Studio. Put some settings in. Okay, so see now it's reading 34 degrees at the moment. So make a note of that. And now let's have a look here. Tools. Unlock calibrations. Unlocked. Burn. Close. Tools. 
calibrate thermistor tables. Coolant temperature sensor, three point. That's what we want. And Celsius. Now, yeah. so we need to pick some values now. So I'm going to go to lowest. So temperature at 13. Resistance in ohms is 3.15 K. Okay, 3.15 K, so 3,150. 3,150 ohms. Now, somewhere in the middle, I might go 65. It's uh, 540 ohms, and then, can't even see that, there we go, now I might go 92 degrees, 92 degrees is 300 ohms. Alright, so here we go, uh, bias resistor is 2490 ohms. And right and close and now we're on 24 so that's a bit more realistic there's our manifold air temp 29 yep that's probably pretty right all right so now we're gonna lock calibrations burn cool right Alrighty, so uh, let's just run it through a warm-up cycle and see how it behaves. So there we go, the cooling fans just come on and we can see there the scaling of the gauge is very very smooth and it warms up from a reasonable ambient temperature up to a reasonable running temperature which means that our scaling is accurate. So cool guys, so as always thanks for tuning in, thanks for liking, sharing and subscribing and we'll see you next time at Next Garage. Peace!